So you're thinking of making a move to Queen Creek, Arizona? One of the fastest growing suburbs in all of the Metro Phoenix area. This place is just kind of busting at the seams. Happens to be one of our smallest suburbs in population, uh, but it's vastly changed over about the last 20 years. And so I'm gonna take you out there. I'm, I got a little windshield time before we get there, uh, but I'm gonna take you out there. I'm gonna kind of show you around Queen Creek. It's a wonderful, beautiful community down there. It kind of gives you that urban feel but kind of that rural lifestyle. If, if that's something you like, if you like to feel like you're a little bit out in the country where you're not in the heart of everything, that's where we are in Queen Creek. It happens to be located in the Southeast Valley, uh, in between Santan Valley and adjacent to Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, so it's a little further out. I'm actually coming down from North Scottsdale and it's all freeway there for, oh, about 95% of the way. So it's not too bad a drive. It's about a 45 minute drive, but it's an easy drive down there. Uh, but I'm gonna take you around. I'll show you a few things around Gilbert and stick around to the end. I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna show you some homes at some different price points, just so you can kind of get a feel for, you know, what can you get down there? It's not the most inexpensive place. And I'll talk more about that here in just a minute. Uh, but it's got, it caters to all different lifestyles. It's got, uh, uh, communities with HOAs and maybe on a little smaller lots. It's got acreage, it's got horse property, it's got affordability, it has some higher end luxury homes. I mean, it has the whole mix available out there. So I'm gonna kind of show you around that area a little bit and then we'll go ahead and we'll wrap it up. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in a place like Queen Creek or any of the other amazing suburbs in and around the Metro Phoenix area, then go ahead and subscribe below and don't forget to tap that bell for notification. That way you'll be the first to know about our current real estate market here in Phoenix. My name is Rick Hancock with the Phoenix Arizona Living Team and we get calls and emails from people just like you every single day looking to move to a place like Queen Creek and we absolutely love it. So we're here for you and if we can ever help you with your real estate needs, whether you're looking to, to purchase a home, maybe you've got a home here in the Valley you'd like to sell, you're looking for an investment property, uh, just reach out to us. Uh, just give us a call, you can shoot us a text, you can send us an email. I would love to help you make that smooth move to Phoenix. So I'm headed out to Queen Creek uh, and it's located down in the Southeast Valley as I mentioned. Uh, it's an amazing little community and you know I grew up in the home building business here and so we built all over the valley for many many years and you know I remember 20 years ago when we went down to Queen Creek and, and built a development down there and started it and there really wasn't much there believe it or not. You know back around uh, the year 2000 there's like 4,000 people living there so it was very very small and uh, of course you had a vision of what it might look like down the road but Man, there just at the time there just wasn't much there. But today, I mean, there's nearly 70,000 people that live in Queen Creek, and ironically, it's one of the smaller suburbs that we have here in the Metro Phoenix area. But the demand is so strong, it's driven prices up. Believe it or not, for this little bedroom community, I mean, the median home price is just under 600,000. And uh, as is the filming of this uh, video, there's currently about 420 homes for sale. Uh, which are quite a few homes for, for a community of that size. Uh, and they range on the low end, uh, a couple of homes just under 300,000. And the most expensive home currently on the market is about 4 million. So as I mentioned, it really gives you a vast array of lifestyle choices, depending on what works best for your budget. So you can get some, some you know, an entry level home, a starter home, uh, or you can get a high end luxury home if you want some acreage. Uh, if you're into horses, there's some great horse property out here as well, you know, on the outer fringes of Queen Creek. So uh, it really is a neat place because there's there's so much to do out here. Uh, there's uh, all sorts. You're close to the uh, Santan Regional Park, uh, which is a great mountain preserve. If you like to go out and you like to go hiking, mountain bike riding, uh, you can take your horses up there and go trail riding. There's plenty of opportunity for that. You can, uh, great place to go up there and camp. You want to go up there for a day picnic. 
whatever it is that you might want to do, you can take full advantage of the mountain preserve up there, and it's not that far away. Uh, and, and just the local community inside of Queen Creek, there's all sorts of community parks, and I'm going to take you by one here in just a minute and kind of show you around. All sorts of shopping and restaurants have now come into Queen Creek that weren't there a few years ago. You've got all your big box retailers. I mean, you've got, hey, when Costco comes to your town, you know you've hit the big time. So there's a Costco down there. Of course, you've got your Home Depots and your Targets uh, and, and a lot of your, your specialty big box stores. Uh, there's like a Joanne, I'm thinking, uh, TJ Maxx. I believe there's even like a Ross, Super Walmart, Target. Uh, lots of little restaurants are also down there. Plenty of grocery stores. Uh, there's a Sprout supermarket down there, you know, and, and uh, gas stations. So all of your all of your major, uh, I would say most of your major conveniences of restaurants and shopping that you might need is already in place and down there. Uh, and, it, and if you have to go outside of Queen Creek, you're right adjacent to Gilbert, so you're not far from like the Santan uh, Shopping Village. Uh, I, I've done a whole video on that. Uh, if you go check out the Gilbert vlog that I did, it's right there, not too far away. So there's even plenty more shops and restaurants to go to. So you really do have plenty of conveniences really close by to Queen Creek without having to drive all the way maybe into Scottsdale and some of these other things. Now, if you're saying, hey, Rick, I want to go to a Nordstrom's, you have to go to Scottsdale. There's only one in the state, and that's at the Scottsdale Fashion Square. Uh, but otherwise, you know, there's a lot of other major, major stores in and around uh, the Queen Creek area. So you should be able to find uh, what it is that you're looking for. But they have, uh, you know, they've got these amazing, uh, these amazing parks. Uh, neighborhood parks are all scattered throughout the communities. They have uh, a number of schools have all popped up. I mean, uh, I, I can't believe last time I was down here how many of these new schools uh, they've got some uh, great public schools that are highly rated, as well as charter schools. They've got some private schools down there. So they got plenty of opportunities for education if you got uh, school age kids. But there really is, there really is so much to do. And so what I'm going to, I'm going to be here in just a few minutes. And I'm going to take you around and kind of show you some different parts of, of Queen Creek, just so you can kind of get a feel for it. Uh, and then we'll take you out and I'll show you a few of the houses and then we'll finish it up. So that's a little bit of an overview about uh, Queen Creek. Thought I'd go ahead and take that time to do that on my way out there. And uh, we'll be here shortly. One of the fun things to do here in Queen Creek, this is their newest community park called Mansell Park. Uh, it's a beautiful park. It's got plenty to do. Uh, for example, behind me over here, you've got four lighted baseball fields. Uh, here's a little slide and a really nice playground up above there for the kids. It's kind of fun. Uh, they've got two lighted fields on the other side over there. They do have a uh, basketball, they've got volleyball. Uh, they've got a dig zone for the kids where they can just go play in the dirt, like uh, especially the boys, that's what the boys do, right? Uh, behind me here is a five acre lake, which is kind of nice. Uh, great fishing if you like to come down here and do that. Several of the ducks down on the water, just cruising around. Uh, but really a nice thing to do you know, on a weekend or what are several people down here now? They've got a uh, uh, they've got a splash pad right here. It's a pirate themed splash pad, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's not on right now because it's going into the winter season. Finally, the heat is behind us. So it's another beautiful day here in paradise, and this is why we live here. Uh, but they got they got restrooms all around. So it really is a very nice facility here. So that's one of the things you can do. You can take advantage of the parks. Other things that are kind of fun to do here in Queen Creek, uh, and we've come down and take uh, do this as well, it's called Schneff Farms. Schneff Farms is an amazing place. I mean, they're the largest peach growers, organic peaches in the, in the state. So you come down here, you can pick your own uh, fruit. They've got a whole vegetable garden. You can come down, you can pick your vegetables. They got hay rides and a, a, a museum and they've got a bakery and a store i mean it is just a full service thing. they got stuff going on year round uh, but it's really a fun environment it gets very popular throughout the year especially over the holidays uh, it's a great thing to do another thing to do 
is the uh, Queen Creek Olive Mill. Uh, it's a 100 acre farm. They've got 7,000 olive trees. So you can literally take a tour and see how they make all the, uh, the olive oil. It's kind of cool. And uh, you can make different types and things like that. So that's really a fun, a fun thing to do too. And another nice thing to do is the uh, Horseshoe Park and Equestrian Center. So if you enjoy horses, uh, they show various horses throughout the year. They have uh, you know, rodeos in there as well. A lot of different events. They have RV shows, car shows, weddings. So it's a full service uh, set up there that you can go year round. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Westworld on a smaller scale, which is up in North Scottsdale. Uh, you know, if you've heard of the Barrett Jackson car show and things like that, that's held up in Westworld up in Scottsdale, but it's along the same lines. It's their version down here in the Southeast Valley. Very nice setup, very popular, plenty of things to do down there. So these are just a few of the things that Queen Creek has to offer. Uh, let's head on out. Let's go check out a house or two. All right, so coming up here to our first stop. Uh, this home is listed for $470,000. It's a three bedroom plus a den, two bath home. Uh, it's 1,718 square feet. So it's a nice home uh, to get started. It's below the median home price out here. When I mentioned it's less than $600,000, so you're well below that. Uh, but it's this home right here. And this home was built in 2020. So this neighborhood is fairly new. And what's nice about it is you don't have to worry about uh, roof replacement air conditioning units, uh, appliances, water heaters, things like that, major expenses to your home. So if you're on a tight budget uh, and you're not sure if you have the, the money to cover that down the road, well, rest assured, a home this new, uh, chances are you should be in good shape. Uh, but it's very close to the Queen Creek Marketplace. You're only about three or four minutes away. Uh, it does have an HOA in here. It's $113 a month, it takes care of you know, the common area landscaping that you see. And one of the things you notice too, and you can tell on these on these newer communities, if you see the trees that are planted, they're not really that big. They're planted in between the, the street and also the sidewalk. And over time, as they grow, they'll develop a nice big canopy. It'll be great for walking, you know, especially in the summer heat, kind of give you a little bit of shade uh, throughout your little walk. Uh, and also what's nice about it too, is the way they develop this development, you can see they put the sidewalks uh, behind the, the uh, street here about four feet. Uh, it's, it's twofold. One allows you to, you can kind of do some landscaping along the edge here like you see here and provide some shade down the road. And I think we, equally as important, especially if you have small children, keep your kids up on the sidewalk, keeps them away from the street, so it kind of protects them there. But uh, uh, this is a beautiful home right here, right across the street from here is a nice big green belt area with a playground. So if you got small kids, literally just a short walk across the street and they can take advantage of the playground. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you some of the elevations around the neighborhood here. And then we're gonna head over to our next stop. Okay, so we're here at our second stop. Uh, it's this home right behind me here. It is listed for 630,000. It is a four bedroom, three bath home. It's 22,000. 2,382 square feet. Uh, this house was built in 2016. So there again, along the lines of these newer built homes. Matter of fact, the builder who built this home is building a new phase next door so you can get a brand new house uh, if you like what you see here. Uh, but this is very well done. And if you notice in the backyard, I'll upload some pictures. It's got a really neat backyard. It's got a couple pergolos that are covered areas for one for, uh, that has a, a hot tub in it. Over the over top, and then you also have a barbecue area. So they've really done a nice job landscaping their yard because they do not have a pool, but it looks very nice in the back. This house happens to be at the end of a cul-de-sac, which is very nice. Uh, and if you can look right over my shoulder, right through here, there is a playground area. So you can literally, if you have uh, small kids, just come right out the front door and turn the corner, and uh, you're right there at the park with another green belt area, or. You can walk across here and take advantage of this green belt as well. In fact, there are the model homes across the street where the builder's building. So definitely a newer development in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, take you around. I'll kind of show you more of the neighborhood. 
You get a feel for the elevations, the exterior color schemes that you see out here. Uh, there again, back to the trees, you can see how newly planted they are. Uh, there is an HOA fee in here. It's $115 a month. There again, that covers the, the community areas. It covers areas like the grass here, the playground equipment. Keep that all looking nice. So I'm gonna show you around and then we're gonna head over to our last stop. So we're coming up here to our last home. Uh, this we're gonna jump up in size and show you what an acre of property looks like. The first two homes are kind of mid-level pricing. They were on smaller lots in a community that has an HOA. This I wanted to show you, I mentioned earlier about acreage. You know, what can you get for an acre? Maybe you, you love the rural atmosphere, you like that kind of living, and you just want some room. Uh, so this home I'm gonna show you right here is, sits on an acre. It's listed for a million three forty. Uh, the size of this home is 3,601 square feet. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, plus an office. It's got a full basement. It's got an incredible backyard with a nice pool, and a slide, plenty of grass, but it just gives you some elbow room. These homes right down the street here, uh, these are all on acre properties all the way down. This particular home, and I'm gonna show you is right here this, this house right here it's right at the end of the street which is really nice so it's a cul-de-sac right here uh, but you got plenty of room it's got a wraparound porch look at that great little elevation it's got siding it's got painted stone on the front it's got the shingled roof which is nice it's got kind of that cottage look which is pretty neat uh, but anyways it's got a big garage it's got 12 foot ceilings uh, so it's got a lot of charm to this home, but I wanted to show you uh, that you can get larger lot sizes out here. You get some acreage. Uh, you can even find a horse property if that's what you're looking for. Uh, several properties out here have uh, multiple acres on them, but this particular one is one full acre. Uh, and, it's, and I'll upload the pictures. You'll see what I'm talking about in the backyard, but, but plenty of room. Uh, sits on a nice cul-de-sac area right here. You don't have any through traffic, which is nice. But this kind of gives you an idea on what does an acre of property get you? And if you wanted to spend over a million dollars, what does that look like here? Just to give you an idea. So I'm gonna kind of show you what this street looks like so you can get a feel for what some of these different homes are and the elevations and what have you. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. <laughs> All right, that's going to go ahead and do it for this tour of Queen Creek. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give us a big thumbs up and like this video and share any thoughts or comments you have down below. We always appreciate your input and your feedback, uh, and we appreciate your support of our channel. You know, Queen Creek is just going crazy. There is so much new development going on down here. Builders are building everywhere. And if, you, if you're drawn to this area and you like what you saw, uh, maybe you've been doing some research, maybe it's brand new to you and you'd like to learn more about it, be sure and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna start showcasing a few of the builders that are building down here, take you through some of their model homes, just so you can kind of get a, a feel for your, you know, what do these floor plans look like? Uh, but it'll be more done in a video format so you can kind of see how that is and I'll, I'll share my thoughts and input, uh, input with you on that. You know, I grew up in this business and I'm passionate about the new construction, so it's great to see all this development taking place down here. You know, and if we can ever help you with any of your real estate needs, whether you're looking to buy, maybe you got a home to sell, you want looking for an investment property, we're here for you. And we can definitely help you in that regard. Uh, just reach out to us. All of our contact information uh, is listed below. I mean, we're here to serve you and uh, would love to know how we can do that. And if, if uh, this area of town, maybe Queen Creek isn't for you, it's not your vibe, you want to be in another part of town, that's okay too. It's not for everyone. Uh, just let us know what you're interested in. 
Uh, we work in all areas of the Metro Phoenix area, so it's not a problem helping you with your real estate needs anywhere in town. Uh, we just need to know how we can do that for you. So as always, we, we greatly appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. And you know where to find us when your time is right. So just reach out to us. Thanks again. And we hope to show you around town. Bye now. <laughs>